there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Scorpios, I'm outside. Scorpio, I'm outside. I hope you can hear me. I don't have on a mouthpiece or anything like that, so I'm just gonna have to let the. I'm on a different device, so. Uh, it, it just seems like it never fails every time I. Bye, Kyra. But it seems like it never fails when I come outside. I have to see the interaction when I'm in the house. Then I can close it off. But anyway, Scorpio, welcome, 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 Scorpio, to another tarot reading. Happy birthday to each and every one of you, Scorpio. Shout out to all of the Halloween Scorpios in the his house, Scorpio. I think you guys are absolutely amazing. So this is going to be another general love reading for Lovetober in the month of October, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, now you might see me bucking and stuff because it's we out here with stuff. That That's a bee, Scorpio. Oh, that's a bumblebee. I hope it go on about its business. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Wait a minute. <laughs> Scorpio. Oh, shit. Where it go? <laughs> Goodness, Scorpio. I keep hearing it. It's just like it's following me. Get back. <laughs> it's following me, Scorpio. Hold on. I'm coming. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Scorpio. I don't know if the, if the coast is clear, but I'm going to try. All right. <laughs> Girl can move pretty fast when she need to. <laughs> so, Scorpio, this is another general, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio out there, okay? You're going to have to listen to your intuition and let spirit guide you for what it's for you. And, of course, you know what's in your personal life. I don't know. I'm just pulling these cards, and I'm just putting it out here so... Only you can say what is for you and what is not for you, okay? So I haven't used these in a while, so I feel like it's befitting to pull from the shadows, the oracle of shadows and light. <laughs> Since it is, you know, this moon energy got people acting a dead dang fool, I tell you. It's like war zone. It's just, it's just so much destruction going on here in this energy of this moon. I feel like there is a strong purging going on here. So we're going to pull your energy... Um, Start off with these. I'll pull a card from your moonology to see how the moon may be affecting us Scorpios at this time. So I'm only going to pull two of these shadows and light cards for you because I'm going to have to read them for you, Scorpio. So Spirit, show me Scorpio. What is Scorpio vibing in, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? Now, Scorpio, it could also be someone who is connected to you, someone who is attached to you, or someone you may be still attached to yourself. Okay, keep that in mind. It's not always just you, Scorpio, somebody who is in your energy, okay? All right, Scorpio. So we have the first card here. It says, Sever Mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. I'm going to put my glasses on. That's what it say, though, Scorpio. Let me see. <laughs> Pardon me, Scorpio. All right. It says, Soar, mermaid, your sensuality is beautiful, Scorpio. Look at that. It's telling you your sensuality is beautiful, Scorpio, Scorpio. And your next card here, Scorpio. I'm going to take this one underneath the bottom because it's so you, Scorpio, the number 45. This is 25. It says, witch at the end of the world. It means an important, an important end, a new beginning. So these are your two cards, Scorpio, 25 and 35. 25 and 35. So let me see real quick, Scorpio. Soar, Mermaid, and Witch of the End of the World. Uh, the World card ending and then a new beginning. Soar, Mermaid, uh, Sensuality is beautiful, Scorpio. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I hope you guys are having an amazing life, Scorpio. Hope that you are on your journey towards amazingness here. So, um, okay, so about the sore mermaid, Scorpio. 
It says, when the sewer mermaid swims in, she is here to remind you of the treasures you have that you may have labeled bad and perhaps even pushed away, forced underneath. We often have negative thoughts that we are too short, too tall, our thighs too large, our breasts too small, our hair not right, our face not pretty enough. We speak to ourselves in negative ways and we begin to feel we are not good enough. And when this takes place, the result can be that we begin to create negative experiences, blockages, and difficulties. We push people away rather than attract them. We hide for fear that others, that what others see will not be good enough. But this mermaid of the hidden spaces is here to show you, Scorpio, that your dark thoughts have told you lies about your great beauty. You are your own self and all that you are is perfect, whole, and complete. The sewer mermaid soul says that you may try to push her away and refuse to believe that you are beautiful, but when you are ready, she will swim to you and free you from all the harmful, negative thoughts and experiences, um, all the sewage. It's called sewage, all the sewage you have picked up along the way. You will begin to believe that no matter what you are, a beautiful being, healthy, attractive, and one who deserves love, respect, and affection. Ain't that you, Scorpio? This is a lot of people because a lot of times you let your past relationship that ended up in shit, in sewer, pretty much it's garbage, and you let that determine your worth. You, you begin to question the, the your worth. Ain't that some shit based on a past experience that, you know, it, man, w we, we as people, we put intentions, we put, uh, we, we set the, the, uh, the stages, we, we set the bars so high and we're all so little. We just don't know. We're really all so much alike, Scorpio. There, there's no big eyes and little U's here. We're all on the same journey. Maybe, maybe not at the same time, but don't let your insecurities lie to you. You are beautifully and intricately created Scorpio you are now let's see about this little witch energy Scorpio now I know some of y'all be doing y'all shit and it ain't for brown eyes to judge because I don't care I'm just saying that for some of y'all and like it says the witch of the end of the world this is the, the end uh, like the world card says here uh, but it brings a new beginning Scorpio endings always bring new beginnings remember that Scorpio so it says, storms fly about her, electrical whips crack through the heavy air with their bites of fire, and she sits among them, hugging her hourless, her hourglass, holding everything together till the force creating the change has done its work. When the witch at the end of the world makes her appearance in a spread or divination casting, you would know that something's time has come. Ooh -wee. There can be no more delaying, for the change has begun. So the best thing for you to do now is prepare for this change. Find solutions to challenges that will come up when the changes come. You will be fine, Scorpio, by the way, and all will be well. But there will be a time of seeming, ooh, it's gonna get juicy, but there will be a time of seeming chaos, difficulty, if you are prepared and ready to let go and change and let something end, E-N-D, the Little Witch's countdown will not affect you as it will affect others who refuse to acknowledge that changes are coming and become fearful at their inevitable approach. There is nothing to fear but plenty to prepare for. You will be safe and well and very ready to embrace the new world, Scorpio. Ooh, this is like a lot of your people who are like like a lot of your exes who are connected to you. You know, Scorpio, you're making changes. You're allowing cycles to complete themselves in order for you can have new beginnings, in order for you to change and evolve and expand and, and grow and be abundant and happy. You've had to allow things to end, even if it was with someone that you really love. But it seems like most of your exes haven't done this, Scorpio. But this is for you, and that could be your person, but this is a message for you, Scorpio. No, it, it, may, it may or may not resonate, but this is these are the cards that are pulled out for you. You have the sore mermaid. Your, your sensuality is beautiful, 
and you have the witch at the end of the row, at the end of the world, an important end, a new beginning here. So let's move on over here to your moonology cards right quick. Now, Spirit, what, what type of moon energy is Scorpio operating in nowadays? Because I tell you, that moon energy is strong and forceful. Ooh, it could either be used in your good or used in your bad, Scorpio. Let me see what fell out. Ooh. Huh, I'm going to take all these. <laughs> God, look, they fell out. So that's what Spirit wants you to know. So I ain't mad. Now this first one, Scorpio. This is New Moon in Capricorn. It says your hard work is paying off. So Scorpios, a lot of you Scorpios, you've been on that grind. Whatever type of work you're doing, spiritual work, working hard for your money, healing work, whatever you're doing, spirits say that hard work is paying off. And this is the, uh, what's that, the new moon in Capricorn, Scorpio. Now you have the Gibbous moon. It says you're very close to achieving your goal. Some Scorpios are very, very close to achieving your goal. You remember your hard work is paying off, Scorpio. And you have full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, Scorpio. Look at you. Look at you, Scorpio. Look at you. And you have full moon in Capricorn again. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches. See? So for a lot of Scorpio, I'm getting that if, if it's been very, very hard and rough on you here lately, I hope that, I hope I didn't get stung by a B Scorpio or Anna Sun. I tell you, look. We out here, okay? <laughs> As Mother Earth, I thank you for all of everything out here because it is a beautiful day. and Everything is a blessing. It's just an amazing, wonderful blessing to be outside enjoying it, okay? So if I get stung, hey, it's, I guess it's all a part of it. I'm, I'm going to call it a little love tap. <laughs> so the end of a tough cycle, tough, tough cycle. <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches, Scorpio. You remember... You got this um, witch at the end of the world, an important end, a new beginning. So you remember, although the end of a tough, tough cycle approaches, that means that since this tough cycle is ending, it's going to bring in a brand new beginning, Scorpio. Now you have the North Node. It says step out of your comfort zone. Scorpio, stop being scared. Stop being scared. Stop. That's why I was telling you about that change energy. Now, this if this ain't you, this is someone connected to you. Someone, I feel like spirit has something amazing on the other side for you, but you got to let go of something in order to get something new. You can't take the old in with the new, Scorpio. You can't. So it says step out of your comfort zone, Scorpio. North Node. And your last card is the new moon in Sagittarius. And it says that luck is on your side, Scorpio. Scorpio luck is on your side. See, this energy, this moon energy is doing amazingly for Scorpio. This is beautiful energy, Scorpio. You're in control. You're empowered. You're at the right place at the right time. You're not above yourself. You're not behind yourself. You're right on time, Scorpio, regardless of what it may look like, okay? So now, Scorpio, let's pull some of these romance angel oracle cards. See, I just don't be knowing what's going to come out because, you know... <laughs> You're notorious for your ex not wanting to leave you alone, okay? So, let's see. Spirit, show me who is coming to a Scorpio in love and in romance for Loveover in the month of October. <laughs> show me who is coming to a Scorpio spirit. Make it plain and simple. Bring us the truth, for there is nothing too hidden that will not be revealed for Scorpio. Show us our lovely, lovely Scorpios who are celebrating their born day for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see. I hope your person heal and go somewhere and sit down. They don't need to say nothing. You got chemistry at the bottom, Scorpio. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here, Scorpio. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, Scorpio. Someone has romantic feelings for you. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
Someone has, someone is attracted to you deeply. They have real strong emotional feelings for you and they want to let you know, okay? <laughs> they going to want to hump on you a little bit too because that means because they feeling you. <laughs> Look, now Scorpio, you can't get mad because folks want to get you, okay? So someone has romantic feelings towards you. They are attracted to you. Now you could be attracted to this person as well. Now this could be a new person coming in your life or this is the energy surrounding you. I feel like a, a lot of Scorpios are about to meet someone. I just feel like it's the time because I feel like you're on your manifesting game, Scorpio. You've been elevating. Uh, you're tapped into your spiritual power and your gifts. You're healing. You ain't mad at nobody. Spirit is really blessing you, increasing you, uh, advancing you, promoting you in just about every area of your life. So I feel like you're going to attract someone. Whether you're going to attract old and new, it's up to you. You can't get mad because the old try you. You know, it's up to you. You decide what you want to do with that. Just because the uh, uh, ex come back don't mean they can force themselves on you, huh? Unless you're still kind of uh, sugary on whom, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> but someone has a lot of chemistry towards. Someone is extremely attracted to you, Scorpio. And they have romantic feelings towards you. And they want to tell you, okay? <laughs> Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio, please. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Damn. Codependency. Addiction are affecting your romantic life. There they go with that shit again, Scorpio. Somebody got some type of codependency. Somebody's working through some shit. Somebody's addicted to something. Either it's a mind frame. They're codependent on a lifestyle, a way of thinking. Drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, porn. You know, so many things a person could be codependent on. They could be codependent on attention. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now, somebody may be calling you back in, Scorpio, if you're not calling them back in. Someone could be calling you back in, Scorpio. And if they're not trying to call you back in this manifesting energy, then you're calling in your soulmate. And whether it's an ex or a new, some Scorpios are calling in their soulmate. But you do have someone here who is extremely attracted to you that has a lot of feelings and emotions towards you. And they want to let you know it, okay? They want to tell you. They can just get that shit together. Look, this person got it bad for you, though, Scorpio. They say you so sexy. They just say you so freaking sexy and so beautiful. This is like that Queen of Wands energy. You got attraction. And you have chemistry. Somebody, I feel like you, you didn't rock somebody's world, Scorpio. All they want to do is just love on you and just hug on you and just take care of you. This person, like, <laughs> I can see this person, Scorpio, taking care of you. If you get sick, they give you, a, they draw you a long, soapy, hot bath with some Epsom salt and have to wash you all. This, this is a person that want to wash your back and wash every part of you, Scorpio. <laughs> They're like, you ain't got to call nobody. No, I'm going to take care of you. You're like, but no, I couldn't put all it on. No, 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 it'd be my, my it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> they bring you breakfast in bed, giving you, uh, you know, a little sponge baths and shit. Now they, <laughs> come on now, Scorpio. You know how to, because they're attracted to you. Look, look, don't get mad at me. This is what I see. This person has romantic feelings for you, so... Whoever this person is now, it may not all be the same person or it could be the same person, but they they got romantic feelings for you. So quite naturally, they're going to regard you. They're going to look out for you. They're going to take care of you. They're going to invest in you emotionally because romantic feelings is feelings. <laughs> but they show sure attracted to you though, Scorpio. I know that much. <laughs> time is a Scorpio. Let me see. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio, please. Give this a real, give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody's coming back to you. I feel like someone wants to work on this relationship with you. I feel like this is someone who in order for them to want to work on this relationship, either Spirit is telling you to work on this relationship or someone from your past is trying to come back to you to work on this relationship and the reason why you guys uh, separated to begin was because this person had they all shit going on. It's codependency here. But I feel like this person is trying to call you back in, Scorpio. It seems like all they do is think about you because they have romantic feelings towards you. Now I'm tripping now. I'm thinking shit. <laughs> Damn. 
I don't know if some shit landed on me. I don't know. I might be covered in shit, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but if this person is wanting to come back and work on this relationship, it's because this person may have been a has some type of drug problem, Scorpio, or they were in another relationship where they just need to get their life together. But they're trying to come back in and work on this relationship because they're in love with you. It's just plain and simple. They're attracted to you, so I know they want to hump on you. That That's no question. All Scorpio people want to hump on Scorpio, but then you got this religious factors here. Now, this may be a reason why you guys are not together now, Scorpio. I feel like this person, I feel like if you're a person, you're the same person. It's like the last reading. You had the King of Cups and the King of Wands. That, that the one, they couldn't even really you know, really stand out because your, your, your past person was so busy talking and showing up and showing out. It's like this person wants you back so bad that they're just, you know, they bombarding you, you know, because I saw the five. It's like they want to fight for you. They're aggressive about you, Scorpio. And I feel like this is the same energy. I have codependencies and religious factors here. So I feel like this person, what what is going on in this person's life, they were in a relationship. And because of morals, they stuck it out. They were either codependent on their relationship or whoever they were there for moral support, financial support. Maybe they had children. But whoever they were with was codependent on them as well. Because especially if they were providing, they had children. Look, Scorpio, it is what it is. But anyway, Scorpio, they thinking about you, though. Now they want to work on you guys' relationship. Oof. Forget <laughs> Forgiving and learning, Scorpio. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. This person trying to heal this shit. I'm telling you, this person is the one calling you back in. Now, for some of you, Scorpios, you are calling in your soulmate, but I feel like this person's trying to manifest you back in their life, Scorpio. They want to they want to heal this relationship here. You got give this relationship a chance and forgiving and learning. This is what this person is coming back in to do. This is what they want to do with you. And I feel like the reason why they wasn't with you was because they were already in some type of dynamic here, some type of setup here because of religious factors. Uh, they, they were bound by, by, by morality or by character. It didn't look good because they were, they were taught and they were drilled uh, that, that. And then, you know, like I, like I always say, most of, most of these guys that, that we meet, they didn't grow up in two family homes. They, their mother raised them. So quite naturally, if they have a son or a daughter, they want to be better parents than what they experienced. So some of them will, will, will choose to stay in a very unhappy, codependent relationship because it's the morally right thing to do. And they don't want their child to suffer like they suffer. Because remember, most of these men are damaged good. They damaged. They, they damage, they say we as feminine, but see, we, we can heal because we're not, we don't run from our emotions. They do, you know, society tells them if you cry, you're weak, but that's not true. If you cry, you're human, you're healing, but we, we don't care as feminine. So, but I feel like this person, the reason why this person did not work out with you is because either this person already had a commitment or they had a decide to go back to a commitment for more obligations here, Scorpio. Uh, but they sure want to come back to you and work on this relationship because they have a lot of romantic feelings for you, Scorpio. <laughs> Could the wind blow on Scorpio? Heart to heart conversations. There you go. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This person is going to be real with you this time. They're going to tell you what was going on in their life. They're they going to tell you, Scorpio. Because for some of these people, they, they shit ending anyway. Because they're not happy. They're going to tell you about this. They're going to tell you that they probably was on dope. <laughs> they probably had a porn addiction. They probably had baby mama drama. They had some. They probably was in a relationship. They probably was low-key married or shacking up, common law marriage that produced babies, and they didn't want their kids to turn out like them. But they're going to come in and be honest with them. This is from their heart, Scorpio. That's for real. It's at the bottom of your card. You got love yourself first. But it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. The spirit said, don't be no fool, though. Self-love. This person may need to show self-love to themselves, Scorpio. But if it's not this person, I feel like we all need to show self-love, especially you, Scorpio, because this person want to come back to you. You got wedding here. This situation involves marriage. This is what they're going to tell you. I'm telling you with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Scorpio. 
this is how they're going to work on this partnership and work on uh, uh, get this relationship uh this is how they're going to forgive and learn with you is because they're going to come in here with this heart to heart conversation and tell you about this wedding about this marriage that they were involved with uh that was codependent because of religious factors. That's what they're going to talk about, Scorpio. But guess what, Scorpio? Spirit is telling some of you Scorpios, for some of you Scorpios, you may get back with this person here because I feel like there's love between the two of you because I don't see any animosity. I feel like this person is really going to be real and honest. Um, and you guys are going to work it out. But for some of you Scorpios, y'all going to love yourself first, keep your love, focus on yourself and focus on this new love that is coming to you. Because I feel like this person may have been away too long and some things you just don't want to deal with, Scorpio. I feel like all the love and patience and, and, and everything you poured into this person, you don't feel that. For some Scorpios, you don't feel that way no more. You're choosing new love because for this old person, Scorpio, it is now unrequited love. You don't you don't want to you don't want to deal with that. You don't want to deal with that. And the only thing you know is that you deserve love, Scorpio. Uh, so I feel like this person is healing family issues, Scorpio. Ooh, that's what I feel like. I feel like some Scorpio is going to choose that new love instead of that past love because you just don't want to deal with it. You know, you rather you rather start over than to go back and deal with that because it took a lot out of you, and you don't want to you don't want to invest in that. And I understand that because I feel the same way. Now let's pull these tarot cards. Let's see, got the nine of cups. Total wish fulfillment, you make everybody happy, Scorpio. Scorpio, you put a smile on everybody's face, Scorpio. You do. I hope you keep a smile on your own face, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me what's coming to a Scorpio for a little talk. Make it plain and simple. stable but maybe this is an offer that you've been waiting on this person's finally trying to get it together and bring it to you Scorpio but <laughs> you like I don't know about all this shit you ain't talking to this person Scorpio for some Scorpios you're not talking to this person you're intentionally keeping yourself to yourself because you feel like this person is still full of shit you feel like they're still bound in other situations and still toxic and you don't want to be a part of their burdens here. And for some Scorpios, you feel like they, they even went through it with a baby mama here. Or they need to end it with a baby mama, Scorpio. Ooh, that's at the bottom, Scorpio. Ooh, Ooh Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. That Capricorn always want to show up. That's that codependency energy, Scorpio. So we have, ooh, what a beautiful way to start this reading. Because it's a whole... Lot of money in Scorpio's world. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of money in Scorpio's world. I go to that Ten of Pentacles. There go your long term commitment right there. There go your legacy. There go your inheritance. There go your unforeseen fortune on its way to you, Scorpio. That's what that Ten of Pentacles is. That's a commitment. That's an abundant commitment, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, for some of you, Scorpio is going to be from someone from your past and this Six of Cups energy for some now. And for other Scorpio, you're going to have this Ten of Pentacles with yourself and then your new love. Remember that new love showed up. Somebody want to put a ring on the Scorpio. They just want to put a ring. I just want to marry you. It could be this new love. And like I say, you got two. It's two. It's two sets of Scorpios. Some want the ex back. Some want the new love. But I feel like, regardless to if you choose for some for some Scorpios, if you choose an ex, it will be good. And if you choose a new, it will be good. But I don't feel like. I mean, if it's showing up like this energy, but you know, because I don't see anything negatively here. Look. For some of you Scorpios, you're going to get back. You, some of you Scorpios, you're going to marry someone from your past. And y'all going to ball out the ass. You're going to ball out the Watusi. Just like they like. You know, the masculines like that money, see? Some of y'all going to do that here, I'm telling you. <laughs> this person could be fantasizing and reminiscing about you, Scorpio. Who's Scorpio. 
Oh, wait, but I don't feel like you got the four of swords here. Somebody is trying to recover. Someone took a break. Someone may be having to heal. And I feel like it could be this. Your, it's some of y'all exes here because they healing. And it could, could be some Scorpios that's still healing. Took your energy back uh, to heal. Because this person took you through a lot and you made up your mind that you don't want this person anymore. Because spirit has got you. Spirit's going to send you something. Look. I feel like now, if this ain't you, Scorpio, this is someone who's attached to you. They didn't see something coming. And then knocked the air out of them. I'm telling you, with this tower card and this four of wands, four of swords energy. I feel like some endings has happened here now. If this is not you, that something has happened that, that put you out on your ass. And somebody got sick on it unexpectedly, too. Um, but you are recovering from it. But I feel like as far as this, I feel like if this is your person here, Scorpio, they didn't see something coming. Something ended with somebody, Scorpio. And it, it, it didn't treat them so well either with this four. So they had to, they had to take, they didn't have no choice. It knocked them on their ass, Scorpio. Whatever happened that caught them off the, look, they didn't see it coming. There is a lot of shit they did not see coming. I feel like this person was refusing to see something, Scorpio. So now you got this tool sort of, this is some indecisiveness. Now this could be for some Scorpios needing to decide do they want somebody from their past or new love. And you got that Virgo energy, the Hermit card. Somebody is really trying to figure out some things. And I feel like it's this person coming back to you. I feel like it's someone, if this isn't you, Scorpio, this is someone who's attached to you. Something has caught them by surprise and they don't know what to do about it. This is why I feel like this person is probably in hermit mode, you know, low key. And all they can do is just sit around and just think about you. They're not physically doing anything. They're just thinking about you because you look some of you Scorpio's person could have got ill. I'm talking about seriously ill. So on their, on their, on their bed while they laying down recuperating, all they do is think about you. And trying to figure out life. Oof. You got this eight of pentacles. One to folk. Now this could be you focusing on your money, Scorpio. Or this person is focused on you. We do see the ten of pentacles here. So I would have to say that that's you focusing. This person, I mean, they, they need to focus on healing. Now whatever this healing is, it could be an emotional healing here. It's something here that they need to focus on. But they thinking about you in the six of cups. Ooh, Scorpio. Somebody want a commitment with you, though. Now, this person wants to come in and heal this thing. This person, maybe this person needs healing and balance in their life. Because I feel like this person, whatever happened in their life, Scorpio, they're wanting to come back to you because they need healing. <laughs> the same old, same old, same old, same old, Scorpio. Look, see? <laughs> This person's life has just gotten, this person's life is just miserable, Scorpio. I feel like this person has lost everything. Now they're sitting back regretting everything. I feel like this person on this, on this, I keep feeling like this person took ill. This person's physically sick. I just feel like everything just fell off around this person's life. I actually feel like this person is ill. And I feel like while they're laying up in this bed here, only thing they're doing is regretting and thinking about things. That's all they're doing. They're thinking about you and regretting not giving you what they could have gave you. It's almost like this person on their downtime, they're thinking about you and not making the proper decision, Scorpio. Because I feel like this person, I just feel like this person felt like they didn't have no other choice here. This is why, you know, they didn't make a decision. Because I feel like deep down they wanted you to. But they couldn't just come out and just say it to you. They just showed you, you know, by how they was distanced to you. Why, how they didn't really build and put in with you. Because they were already in something, but they wasn't happy. And the unrequited love could have been for them, too. They could have been in a loveless relationship, just there for image sake and for family. But this person is taking it bad, Scorpio. This person's having it bad. Ooh, this person is having it bad, Scorpio. Oh. All right, let me let me start clarifying something because I don't want to spend too much time on this 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 person here, Scorpio. The only thing I see is the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. 
Look, now you got that king of swords. Now they serious minded, Scorpio. Something has changed this person, Scorpio. I'm telling you. I tell you, when you getting your ass beat by spirit, you gonna change. But look, Scorpio, some of you Scorpios ain't don't care. <laughs> you like you coughing? You on a ventilator? Oh well, I might not should use that. But you probably like, well, you doing bad? That ain't my problem. You know, I hope you get better and you didn't turn your back on her. You're waiting. You're looking ahead towards your future, Scorpio, because your future is indeed bright in this uh, sun car, Scorpio. Some of you Scorpios is dealing with the Leo here. I feel like this person is laid up and lost. Everything is defeated. They're defeated, Scorpio, because, see, you got the expansion. You get to choose who you want. This is expansion for you. You know it is because you got ten of pentacles here. This person has chaos around them. They're defeated because of the lifestyle that is around this person, Scorpio. You may have some folks hating on you, but I feel like this five of wands, five of swords, this is what this person is up against in their life some kind of way because they got the tower car here. They're regretting something. What, what, what did they do? What's going on with them? I feel like this person is trying to make some changes in their life, Scorpio. But I feel like you're going to turn your... Some of you Scorpios are going to turn your back on this person and you looking ahead because you got something amazing. Look, you got victory, success. This is what you have. You have expansion. You have abundance. You have legacies. You have long-term commitments coming in. It could be with this person, but I don't see how. They, they still need to get their shit together before they can even come to you. Because so far, all thing they're doing is just thinking about you and crying. Look, you got lovers. You got options. You got choices and decisions, Scorpio. You got, look, you got a Gemini here. The main people I see, Gemini, Virgo, um, Leo, and Aries here. This is a Gemini's energy here. This is a lover. This is a soul making it. So you got two. You got the Six of Cups and the Gemini here. So I feel like you got a lover coming in here, Scorpio. But I feel like this person is not happy in their life. They're bored and they're discontent here. Because I feel like this person ain't nothing moving in their life, Scorpio. They're stuck. I feel like this person is mentally stuck. This person is mentally and physically bound to whatever this codependence, it could be addiction. It's just like this person's life has crumbled down around them. And I feel like it's that just do with this judgment card. This may be what, what, what they sold, Scorpio. So this is what they're getting back. It might be what they sold, so this is what they're getting back, Scorpio. But I feel like now if this ain't the same person, somebody love you. Somebody's in love with you. You got two kings. You got the king of swords. You got the king of cups. It could be the same person, but you have new love here. So I'm going to have to say, because it's just kind of like the last one, I'm going to have to say that you got a king of cups here that wants a committed relationship with you. Now, this I feel like this past person wants to come back to you, Scorpio, in this lover's energy. Because you remember we keep seeing wands and sexual energy here. I feel like this is what this person wants. But they, they so, look, they doing so bad, they can't do nothing. This person got, oh my God, Scorpio. This person from your past, this six of cups is going through hell. They catching hell. They are. They ain't no, no good for you. But all they do is think about you and fantasize and wish they could be with you. They love you. They do. But they got to clean their shit up. I feel like this person is trying to make better choices in their life, Scorpio. But it's like they're going to have to start from scratch now. They don't have shit to offer you at this time. And I know I keep saying it. The only thing they, they got is confusion. I feel like your attention is on yourself with this Eight of Pentacles and this Three of Wands. You've turned your back on this. Some of you Scorpios turned your back on this ex person. And your attention is now focused on your stability that's ahead of you. Because spirit is bringing in victory. You're getting victory since you, your, your focus changed. And now you got expansion. Spirit is evolving you. I'm telling you, that's what it is here. Everything is good, good in Scorpio's life. You're attracting abundance to you. And I feel like you're going to attract somebody to you that's, that's vibing in your same energy. You remember, you're the queen of cups. You got that king of cups. And you guys are going to build some shit. And y'all going to get this shit popping here. And you possibly could get married to this person here. But I feel like this past person is coming back. 
Some of you Scorpios gonna meet your husband, gonna meet your new your new partner, your new husband or wife. You guys are gonna start off being just lovers. Y'all gonna start off being just lovers. I'm telling y'all gonna start off getting it on. Y'all, it's gonna get good and good and good. And y'all gonna realize, damn, I have a good time with this person. The sex good. They treat me good. You know what I'm saying? You know that King of Cups is gonna honor your emotions because they just like you. And now you got the Eight of Wands here. Somebody wants to reach out and communicate to you, Scorpio. And I feel like it's this past person because the next card is the, the Nine of Swords. They're stressing out. <laughs> Scorpio, it's like this person's gonna is gonna is gonna kill your vibe. I'm telling you, cause look what they're going through. The Five of Pentacles. It's the same energy. They're left out in the cold. I feel like something that just crumbled. This whole person's whatever empire or a thing that they built, Scorpio, has come track comes falling down with this Tower card and this Five of Pentacles, and they're trying to recover from it. It wasn't no small thing. It was a major thing, Scorpio. This is why they're stressing. So anytime they approach you, they're going to be stressing because they're inadequate now. Look, somebody betrayed this person, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, there's been some endings in your ex's life, Scorpio, but it was some bitter ending, Scorpio. They're, 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 they're trying to heal, but... Is, is, this person is going to be worse off because it's like you've advanced while this person has went backwards. It's, it's no comparison now. Look, now you got the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. I feel like you know the truth. You're good. You used to saw the first card. We had the, uh, imp, I mean, the High Priestess. You know what's going on with these people, Scorpio, and you don't, you don't cut them out. You don't care. I feel like you're in your power now, Scorpio. It took you having to walk away. To stand in your power and also, look, you got the sun card and the strength card. For some of you Scorpios, you got Leo heavy in here. You in your power because, look, you independent. Look look at you. And the nine of pentacles, you manifesting. Your manifestation game is tight, Scorpio, because you are in tune with the source. Look at that. And the high priestess, look here, Scorpio, don't play with me. This is how y'all getting y'all shit, Scorpio, right here. It's because you've been doing this spiritual work. You've been going in places that no man has ever gone before just to get the desires and to overcome some shit. You went in one way and you came out a totally different person. Meanwhile, your other person, Scorpio, is still walking around here with all these burdens and all of these toxic-ass attachments. Like I said, could be with their child's mother. This, this person ain't got shit to, to offer you. They're going to still keep dragging their ass to who? The queen of cups. Still trying to invest nickels and dimes to you. But you don't need them. This person is toxic. You don't need none of this. You're not even waiting on this person no more, Scorpio. You're, they're not on your level because they're not doing spiritual healing. They just want to come as they are and hope, and hope for the queen. Now, they could be looking at you like... You are the Empress Scorpio, but this is who they trying to come in and bring a solid offer to. Because remember the Empress was in reverse. This is who they trying to bring a solid offer to, the Queen of Cups. But goddamn, you've been waiting. And look, the next card is seven of pentacles. They're going to have your ass waiting on them for, for them to get their shit together again. You know it's going to take them a while, Scorpio, because they're at the five of pentacles. <laughs> they're really defeated. But they're going to try to put on their freaking front. Like, they got it all together and they're serious, Scorpio, but they ain't got shit to offer you. Especially with this ten of, ten of Wands and this Devil energy. They can't touch you, Scorpio. They can't. This because you are that high priestess. You are that spiritual power, Scorpio. They can't touch you. This is only for new, new energy, Scorpio. No old ex can't, can't handle this. You are manifesting exactly your heart's desire, Scorpio. You're manifesting debt-free situation. You're manifesting your money being good. You're manifesting your strength. You're manifesting a f emotionally fulfilling connection with someone. You're manifesting your idea empire or long-term relationships. With that Ten of Pentacles and that Four of Wands. And you possibly get somebody who's going to love on you real, real good. I'm talking about they're going to hunt you so good, Scorpio, till you're going to get chafed. I said chafe. That's that good kind of chafe right there, Scorpio. 
That's for real. This is what I have for you. And I ain't going to go no further. But this ex person is sad, Scorpio. I'm just tired of looking at them. This ex person, look. Look how they want to run to. I told you. This is what this person mind is on. Even at their lowest, they're still doing the same old shit, Scorpio. For some of you, Scorpios, your ex going to get their shit right and y'all going to marry them. But for some of you, Scorpios, your ex going to still be doing the same shit five and ten years on down the road. That's why you walked away from their ass because they still doing the same old shit. And you walk right into your happily ever after. Walk right into your boss status, Scorpio. While they still around here chasing after skirts and big butts and smiles. They run around here probably leaking maggots and penis probably broke off. Look at them. They ain't no good for nobody now, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. So if this video resonates with you guys, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, Scorpio. I love you guys so, so much. Happy pre-birthday to each and every one of you amazing Scorpios. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpios.